Every video on YouTube about soldering aluminium involves a blowtorch and is usually about uh, industrial applications, uh, not really hobby electronics. So I'll follow a little tip provided by uh, one of the older radio techs of the day to use an ordinary hand iron to solder a wire to aluminium uh, and make a joint with integrity. And it's also using ordinary 6040 leaded solder, in this case from JCAR Electronics Australia. The only other special material needed because this is aluminium is mineral oil, ideally, but uh, I don't have any. So I'm going to substitute that for something less than ideal, which I did have around the house, which is Vaseline petroleum jelly. And you'll see later that when that's heated, it uh, becomes a petroleum oil. I'll be soldering an insulated multi-strand wire to the side of a, an aluminium Coca-Cola can, chosen deliberately so that everyone knows what it is on video. And I've already used some fine sandpaper to expose the surface of the aluminium. The only purpose these pliers are serving is to hold the aluminium, which is normally curved, flat, so that uh, the mineral oil slash liquefied Vaseline won't just roll off. Uh, I've been advised by someone who knew about this technique not to use a brand new iron tip like I did. Unfortunately, they told me after I did the video footage, it didn't really ruin it, but I've been told that it isn't good. Got some petroleum jelly, Vaseline, on the end of a cotton bud here, about to apply to the surface of the aluminium, which isn't especially prepared yet, other than being lightly sanded. So shortly you'll see what happens when this touches the hot tip of a soldering iron and pretty much turns to liquid. It does solidify again pretty quickly, so I have to keep repeating this process to get it to stay liquefied. To prepare the surface of the aluminium, you might use emery cloth, emery paper, which is also saturated in mineral oil. Um, I've just used a knife, probably easier to see on camera. But uh, by repeating this process, I mean uh, keeping the Vaseline in a liquid state, uh, which is all about protecting the surface of the aluminium from the atmosphere, uh, so it doesn't develop a two nanometer thick oxidization layer which uh, prevents you from soldering it and also protects the aluminium usually from further corrosion. And this is what I meant by less than ideal as the petroleum jelly solidifies. Uh, what will probably be happening is uh, as I'm scratching the surface, some of the area does get exposed. So it's only when the, uh, the surface is protected by the liquefied petroleum jelly that I'm really making a surface that I can solder to. Um, so I'm actually working pretty casually here. It's only my second attempt. My first attempt I'll show you the result of at the end of this video. Um, I'm trying to capture reasonable footage, but I'm not really trying really hard with the solder joint. I wouldn't be surprised if you were slightly suspicious at this point uh, because it's easy to make a ball of solder sit on a piece of aluminium held there even by some uh, resin uh, but that will pull off easy and that's what this kind of looks like but uh, that's really not the case and we'll see that fairly shortly. The solder tends to stick to the area you prepared it won't just crawl away as it would on some clean copper clad circuit board uh, but it is wet so now the joint is done but it's covered in now solidified petroleum jelly so I'll just clean it up the best I can with some isopropyl alcohol as you might normally do covering everything up with my hand that was a great job doesn't really matter though I guess it's not the important part but uh, now you can see the joint, which still looks rather suspicious, and I wouldn't call very neat. I will try a bit harder at this later on and see what I can do. I'm assured it can be very neat. But uh, here's the truth test.
And here's my first attempt, which I did the night before making this video where the joint pulls the whole piece of aluminium off. I'll give a thank you to Ron Pond who posted about this in a vintage radio group on Facebook where I got the idea and I hope you enjoyed the video and it comes in useful.